Hi, I'm Eric Lenask. We are uh, coming to you from San Jose. We're here for our TMC Roadshow. Uh, I'm talking today with Jeff Kim from CD Networks. Jeff, uh, thanks for joining me. Great to have you on the program. Great, thank you. So start off, tell me a little bit about who uh, CD Networks is uh, and what you're doing particularly here uh, in North America. Terrific. Uh, CD Networks is a global content delivery network. Um, we're a 12-year-old company uh, with offices in, uh, you know, all around the globe. And in a short sentence, what we do is we work with our customers to let their websites and web applications uh, make sure that uh, they go blazing fast no matter where your end users are. So uh, when you say your customers, first let's define who, who is the customer. Sure, so medium, large enterprises that have websites, web applications, uh, co companies like uh, um, Net-A-Porter in the uh, UK, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Forbes, um, uh, Trend Micro, so anyone with a web uh, customer facing website, web application, both B2C and B2B. So they've got a website, uh, as you said, you make them, uh, help them make those websites uh, go load up blazing fast. What's the problem that they come to you with? Sure, so typically, um, let's just say uh, I have a website and it's located or hosted here in San Jose. Um, for all of your end users in San Jose, it takes about two, three seconds to load. Um, all of a sudden, they see that you know their end users logging in from Australia, China, Russia, India, uh, Middle East, uh, South America. Um, it's taking 15, 21 seconds to, to load the website. In today's day and age, no one's going to wait 21 seconds for a website. So what we do is um, we have a, a network of uh, 100 points of presence around the globe, thousands of servers all around the globe, and we basically can help them lower that 21 second website down to three seconds, no matter where their end users are logging in from. So uh, how does having all those points of presence uh, around the globe help you do that? How, what goes into the technology that, that allows you to do it? Sure, so as a global content delivery network, these 100 points of presence uh, are going to be near your website, your, your wherever your uh, origin or data center is, and one of them is going to be near uh, your end user. So let's take, for example, that same hosted website in San Jose, and then an end user logging in from Shanghai. Um, what we do is between our two points of presence, we, will, we, we basically have kind of a next generation internet running in between there. Um, we'll take the cacheable pieces of your website or, or web app and cache that near your end user in Beijing. Um, and the dynamic elements uh, of the website, we overcome the inherent uh, um, latency of the internet by creating this ne next generation internet and, and zip that dynamic content out to the end user. So by having control of both ends of uh, the, the uh, points of presence, um, we have this ne new internet that we can basically lower 21 seconds down to three seconds, something, something to that effect. So um, the other major kind of differentiator for us is that you know, we have points of presence, you know, again, um, in China, in Russia. Uh, we're the only major global uh, CDN with points uh, locations in, the, in those areas. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, the emerging market is now the growth market, and many, many of our uh, customers have to uh, get uh, out to those areas. So when, when you talk about uh, caching content versus uh, the dynamic content, what's the difference between uh, those two types of content, and, and, and how much of it is, is cached uh, on any given page or website, and how much of it is dynamic? Terrific question. Um, Ten years ago, most websites were all cacheable, and what that means is the content that you see and the content that I see are pretty much the same, just because websites used to be very brochure-like and very static content. Um, but in today's world, much more and more of a website or web application is dynamic. It's very personalized. It's uh, your shopping cart. It's your profile. It's your stock quotes um, that uh, are very personalized to you. Um, so that's not cacheable. That, you, know, you can't store that at, at different locations. That has to go real time uh, from point A to point B. So uh, taking the personalization element out of it, t take for instance a site like TMCNet that uh, posts as much content as we do on a daily basis. So obviously it is very dynamic content, but it's not necessarily personalized. Sure. How are you able to uh, uh, keep that uh, speed of, uh, of uh, uh, loading? Sure. So your website, I would say, would probably be like 97% cacheable. And 3% would be, you know, maybe if someone's logging in or dynamic. Um, what we would t do is, it, built, in, built into our technology, we detect what's cacheable and what's not, so you don't have to worry about it. And we'll go ahead and take that 97% that's cacheable and uh, cache that in, in all of our 100 locations. Fantastic. Uh, are there particular vertical markets that uh, 
seem to be expressing more interest in working with CD networks. Sure. So with our focus on the emerging markets and growth markets, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, uptake from uh, retail, luxury brands, um, uh, the financial sector, just because global banking and trading is going everywhere, um, uh, as well as travel and tourism, so booking engines, hotels, uh, you know, anything of that nature. But quite honestly, every vertical from manufacturing to hospitality to you know uh, healthcare, um, it, it, it's, it's a global world now. Everyone needs to reach everywhere now. So when you talk about especially uh, the mar markets like uh, healthcare, financial services, are there security requirements that uh, go into it? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So basically now the internet is an application delivery mechanism, so we have to put security uh, in into it. Uh, at CD Networks is one of the only CDNs that is PCI certified. So that means Visa, MasterCard, American Express, JCB in Japan have all approved our security uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mechanisms. And so we can process credit card transactions and real-time financial data over our network uh, very securely. Excellent. So uh, what can we look forward to in the next uh, 12 to 18 months? Sure. I, I think uh, more and more uh, companies are going out re into the growth market um, just because uh, they um, you know, uh, see that that's a, a growth opportunity. And more applications that are locked in private networks and private applications are going to be webified. And when they come to the web, um, they will need services like ours to, to extend out, out to the globe. So um, you know, our, our prospects are, 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 you know, are growing every day. Right? And uh, you know, China, Russia, Middle East, South America, um, you know, th there's more growth there than there, there is here back at home. Excellent. Uh, Jeff, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for joining us on the TMC Roadshow. Great. Thank you.